Hello friends, in the budget 2023, there is a proposal to increase the tax collected at source on foreign remittance from 5% to 20%. To know more about the same and more importantly how it will affect you, kindly watch this video till the end. Hello friends, I'm Paresh Karia, CEO of Equest Advisors, an immigration advisory firm specializing in business and investment based immigration to US, Canada, Europe and UK. Over the past few years, we have helped many families to migrate to these countries. The RBI had introduced the liberalized remittance scheme, popularly known as LRS, to allow Indians to easily remit money outside India. Under the scheme, you can remit up to 250,000 US dollars per family member, including minors, in any financial year outside India. So, for example, with a family of four, you could remit. 1 million US dollars outside India. During the last few years, remittance under the LRS scheme has been getting very popular as more and more Indians have been sending money outside India for the purpose of their children's education, to purchase property or to make investments in shares and bonds or to simply park money in the bank accounts overseas. The latest data from RBI shows that during the financial year 21-22, Indians had remitted nearly $20 billion outside India. Earlier, it was very easy to remit money outside India under the LRS scheme. All you had to do was go to the bank, fill up Form A2, select the right purpose for which you want to send the money outside India, sign the form and the declaration, and your bank will debit your Indian rupee account and send money outside India. In the budget of 2020, the government introduced tax to be collected at source from remittance done under the LRS scheme and this became effective from 1st October 2020. So now banks are required to collect tax at source at a rate of 5% whenever you are remitting money outside India in excess of 7 lakhs. Please note that TCS is not an additional tax. It is similar to TDS. The amount collected is deposited with the government in your tax account and can be adjusted against your tax liability. The only problem with TCS is that you will have to provide for extra funds whenever you are remitting money outside India. Also, if you are already subject to TDS or you have paid advanced tax, the excess of TCS will have to be claimed as a refund in your tax return and will be blocked till you get the refund. In the recent budget, the government has significantly increased the rate of TCS from 5% to 20% as you can see from the table below. This sharp increase in the rate of TCS would cause hardship to a lot of people wanting to send money outside India, especially honest taxpayers who are already subject to TDS. So now if you want to remit $250,000 outside India, which is the maximum amount permissible in a single financial year, you will actually have to provide for $300,000. Out of this, $50,000 will be collected as TCS to be adjusted against your tax liability. Now, if you have already been subject to TDS or you have already paid advanced tax, the excess of TCS will get blocked till the time you get refund from the income tax department. One fails to understand the rationale behind the concept of TCS on foreign remittance and more importantly the sharp increase in rate to 20%. Is it meant to deter people from sending money overseas? The ostensible reason for TCS seems to be that the government wants to track outward remittance and correlate it with the tax liability of the remitter. However, since the banks are already linking outward remittance with the pan of the remitter, the data is already available with the government. And in case of any mismatch or doubt, the government has right to seek information from the remitter. This seems to be a retrogressive step which will cause hardship particularly to honest taxpayers who are already subject to TDS. Hence, the government should reconsider this move. In the meantime, those of you who are thinking of remitting money outside India for the purpose of investment or purchase of property or immigration, you should act fast. 
you can remit $250,000 before 31st March and another $250,000 after 31st March and before 1st July 2023 and save substantial amount of TCS. So friends, I hope you like this video. If you have any questions relating to TCS, remittance of funds, immigration, etc., kindly click on the link below and schedule a call with us. Thank you.